How can you influence others without saying a word? You might think it's impossible, but actions really do speak louder than words. The power of silence, the strength of presence, and the impact of body language, these are all tools that can influence people just as much as talking. In this video, we'll explore the art of unspoken impact with seven important lessons from stoic philosophers and practical techniques that can help you influence others without saying a single word. Before we start, I ask you to hit that like button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us reach more people who are searching for this kind of wisdom. And if you're ready to learn how to influence others silently, let's get started. The first step to influencing others without speaking is to master your own emotions. Stoicism teaches us that true power comes from within. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. The way you control your emotions makes a statement on its own. People are always watching how you react to challenges, especially when things go wrong. The ability to stay calm and composed, even when things get tough, shows your inner strength. If people see that you can't control your emotions, they might take advantage of you, they see it as weakness. By keeping your emotions in check, you set boundaries without saying anything. You show others that you are not easily shaken, that you are not a victim of what happens around you, and this makes people treat you with more respect. Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Imagine someone trying to make you angry or upset, hoping to get a reaction. If you stay calm, they lose their power over you. Mastering your emotions allows you to influence others easily. When people see that they can't affect you, they start to respect you and might even try to act more like you. This quiet strength not only influences those around you, but also creates an environment of stability and respect. Mastering your emotions doesn't mean ignoring your feelings. It's about recognizing them and choosing a thoughtful response instead of just reacting without thinking. When you do this consistently, you become a symbol of strength. Others will look to you during difficult times, and just having you around will make a difference. In a world full of distractions, being fully present is powerful. Seneca once said, Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. When you are fully present, when you focus completely on the moment you are in, people notice. They feel your presence, even if you don't say a word. Being present means giving your full attention to the people around you. Listening with your eyes, paying attention with your body language, and acknowledging others without needing to speak. Most people are always distracted, and when someone comes along who truly pays attention, it's like a breath of fresh air. When you walk into a room, be present. Hold your head up, make eye contact, and connect with those around you without speaking. Your attention is valuable, and people want it. By simply being there, fully present, you change the energy of the space you are in. Your presence makes those around you feel important, making them feel seen and heard. Being present also means being aware of your surroundings and the emotions of others. It means understanding what's happening in the room and adjusting your energy to match it. When you are truly present, people can feel it. They are drawn to you because you offer something rare today, genuine, undivided attention. This is how you influence others without saying a word, by making them feel that they matter. We are always communicating, even without words. The way you stand, the way you move, and the expressions on your face all communicate your thoughts and intentions. Stoicism teaches us to be aware of our bodies, just like we are aware of our minds. When people see you standing confidently, with your shoulders back and a relaxed posture, they sense that you are someone worth listening to. Epictetus said, no great thing is created suddenly. Developing strong body language takes time, but it's one of the best ways to influence others. People can tell when you're not confident, and sadly, some people will take advantage of that insecurity. But when you carry yourself with quiet confidence, when you look people in the eye without backing down, you show that you are not someone to underestimate. Nonverbal cues can inspire respect or show weakness. Make sure your body language shows strength. Your body language should match your inner state. If you are calm and confident, your body will naturally show that. 
Avoid fidgeting, keep an open and relaxed posture, and use deliberate movements. Even small actions like a firm handshake or a nod can show confidence and respect. Nonverbal cues also involve mirroring others. When you subtly mirror the body language of the person you're talking to, it creates a connection on a subconscious level. People feel more comfortable and understood, making them more likely to be influenced by you. Mastering body language is a powerful way to influence how others see you and how they respond to you. Empathy isn't just about saying kind words, it's about understanding others and showing that you care. Marcus Aurelius said, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself, what fault of mine most resembles the one I'm about to criticize? This means we should try to understand others before judging them. You can influence others by showing empathy without words. A nod, a comforting gesture, or just being there for someone can mean more than words. People remember how you made them feel, not necessarily what you said. A simple smile or a gentle touch on the shoulder can show support and understanding. By showing empathy non-verbally, you build trust and people are more likely to be influenced by you. Empathy also means giving people space when they need it. Sometimes, the most empathetic thing you can do is to simply be present without trying to fix anything. Just being there for someone can be very powerful. It shows that you care enough to share in their experience without needing to take over or provide a solution. Before I move on, count yourself as an exception for making it this far into the video. Now that you've shown how strong you are, let's make it to the end of the video. The Stoics believed in the importance of letting go of things beyond our control. As Epictetus said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. In the same way, true influence comes not from trying to control others, but from being independent of their opinions and actions. When you don't need validation from others, people notice. When you don't react to provocations, when you don't chase approval, people realize they can't manipulate you. This frustrates those who want to control you for their own benefit. People are often selfish and try to use others to get what they want, but when they see they can't get to you, they either respect you or leave you alone. Stoic detachment isn't about being cold. It's about not letting others control your happiness or self-worth. When you show that you are unaffected by external praise or criticism, you set a powerful example of inner strength that influences others. Detachment also helps you stay focused on what really matters. It keeps you from getting caught up in small conflicts or the drama that others might try to drag you into. When people see that you stay calm and unbothered by things that upset others, they start to see you as a leader, someone guided by values instead of emotions. This quiet strength can inspire others to be more like you. Silence is a powerful way to set boundaries. Seneca said, as is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. The same goes for our interactions with others. Setting boundaries doesn't have to be confrontational. It can be about silently showing what you will and won't accept. When someone crosses a line, sometimes the best response is no response. People often want a reaction. They want to know they've upset you. By staying silent, you deny them that satisfaction. You show that their behavior is beneath you and not worth acknowledging. People can be awful. They often test how much they can get away with and how much they can use you. By refusing to engage, you set a clear, silent boundary that influences how they treat you in the future. Silence can be more effective than arguing, and it can show that you refuse to accept disrespect. Setting boundaries with silence also means knowing when to walk away. There is strength in not giving your energy to things that don't serve you. When people see that you're willing to walk away rather than compromise your values or dignity, they realize that you are not someone who can be easily manipulated. This silent strength makes others respect your space and your principles. The final way to influence others without speaking is to lead by example. Marcus Aurelius said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. The best way to influence others is to live in a way that others want to follow. When you show discipline, kindness, integrity, and resilience, people notice. You don't need to preach or convince them, your actions do the talking. People are always watching, 
and when they see someone living by their values, staying true to their integrity even when it's hard, they are inspired to do the same. Leading by example means being consistent in your actions and being the person you say you are, even when no one is looking. It means treating others with respect, showing kindness, and living a life that aligns with your values. You might not realize it, but your actions create a ripple effect that influences those around you more than words ever could. Leadership without words also means having the courage to do the right thing, even when it's unpopular. People are influenced by those who stand up for their values without needing applause. When you lead by example, you inspire others to be better, not because you told them to, but because they see how you live and want to do the same. Before we wrap up, if you've made it this far, comment the word stoic strength below so I know you've stayed with me until the end. Remember, the power to influence others without words lies not in what you say, but in who you are and how you live. Hit that like button if you found value in this video, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more, for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in our next video. Stay stoic.